show balance because we've been championing the music of the 21st century. Now we're going back to the 80s and we're making the argument that, because, you know, people, a lot of people say the music today isn't any good. Well, let's go back. Let's review the evidence. So two things to keep in mind. One is that uh, this is for fun, okay? I did a series on the 70s. It upset a few people. Sorry. You know, just having fun. And the other is it's just my opinion. So some of these songs that I picked in the tournament, I, I think I, I like them, okay? So, you know, we're just, when, when, we, when we get down, we're going to do 64, 32, 16, Elite Eight, Final Four, then the final. And when we get down to the last maybe eight songs, then we'll be talking about songs that, that I really don't like. So today we're going to do Rick Astley, Never Going to Give You Up, versus the Reynolds Girls, which I've never heard to my knowledge. I'd rather Jack. So we're going to pit those two songs against each other. And the uh, song that I like the least will advance in the tournament. The better song will drop out. And then we'll do... Um, Two songs that I know quite well, Starship, We Built This City, and Dire Straits, Walk of Life. Again, these are from lists I pulled on the internet. They're not necessarily my opinion. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this up. Oh, and I've got this, uh, I got to show you this. I've never, I buy these teas all the time, but they have a new flavor, and it's called Mango Maracuya. Really cool. Really cool. Let's break that. <clears throat> These are so hard to get off. Okay, we'll do it during the song. Let's go. 
or when songs faded out they still do that a little bit and uh, and and the next song just to let you know i might have some ads so if you see it dissolves um so here's the thing about this song um I used to not like this song, really. I, I just, I never cared for it. But it's kind of grown on me over the years. It's kind of aged well. And a couple, three, four months ago, I don't remember when, I watched a video on YouTube of Rick Astley doing this song at the Glastonbury Festival. I believe it was Glastonbury. And he had the crowd in the palm of his hand and you know, he looks more like the voice now, right? Because he looks so young here. He's got that deep voice. Um, yeah, uh, and he just he just knocked it out of the park. I mean, <laughs> it was so fun. And, it, and I think it helped change my opinion of the song a little bit. Uh, it's very 80s. And, you know, in, in starting this series here, can we say MTV? Yeah. I mean, what a difference, right? I mean, once videos was the format, it actually changed the kind of music that uh, people made. And of course, technology and the you know the synth bass and synthesizers. But I think this song is aged pretty well, and the lyrics are are fair. You know, the lyrics are fair. He's got a good voice, right on pitch. So, the Reynolds Girls. I don't believe I've heard them. So let's go ahead and check this out.
So I have never heard that song before in my life. And I didn't hate it at all. And I did a deep dive into the lyrics before this. And it's cool. But man, what a difference in production value. So the Rick Astley is so well recorded, so well engineered, so well mixed. And the video is so professional. And then you go to this and it's, you know, it looks amateurish by contrast. It, it really isn't. It's very presentable. But just the the synths are 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 a little weirder, not as uh, crisp and as interesting, and 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 then they they don't quite have the charisma that he has either, right? So uh, yeah, I got to advance this song, but I don't dislike it. Uh, the, the title I'd rather Jacks is a little dated, um, I, I guess. It's a little confusing because they're talking about how they like the older music, and you think they're talking about fifties and sixties, but then then it's like this uh, Jack Swing kind of thing, uh, synth pop Jack kind of thing. So, yeah, it, it, uh, yeah. If you compare the two, this just isn't as good. But I, but I don't hate it. So we'll advance the Reynolds Girls, and let's go ahead and go to uh, the Starship in Dire Straits. Hopefully there'll be no ad. I've never we seen the video. This city. We built this city on rock and roll. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. Say you don't know me. I'm back because I'm a Say you don't can't go. Do not have wish. Be able to do that. See me in your fight. That song is too long, seriously. And, you know, I have, so it's so album oriented rock, A O R, for radio play. And it's just sucked of all energy that uh, I hate that drum sound. So I'm a little conflicted on, on the Starship because, you know, I like the Jefferson Airplane um, from the 60s. Uh, they were kind of weird and they had some great guitar. And yeah, that whole San Francisco sound, there's some pretty cool stuff, volunteers and all those great songs. And then they formed the Jefferson Starship, and that's probably my least favorite period because I like Grace Slick, but I do not like Marty Balin's voice. And the song Miracles is my absolute least favorite Jefferson Starship song. But then they became, they, dro they dropped the Jefferson, became Starship. And then they just got vapid, but but I didn't hate them, you know. But I I really don't like that song "Miracles" because I just don't like Balin's voice, and um, I don't know if Balin bailed here from the Starship or if he's in there. I don't know. I saw Gray Slick, and yeah, there's no character. Like when you think about this, is the same person that sang "White Rabbit" and "Somebody to Love." Yeah, and you, you wouldn't know it. So safe her vocals so yeah i i don't know it's just a 
a dumb song. And I, I really noticed that the guitar solos, they are really boring, right? Just paint by numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and, and go to the next song. I know why people don't like this song. So did you notice, by the way, and by the way, that that made me think of John Fogarty's centerfield because of the sports footage. And that could have been in this tournament as well. Uh, some people don't like that song. But did you notice that the Reynolds girls, um, I'd Rather Jack, Starship, We Built This City, and this song, Walk of Life, all have the same theme, which is a nostalgia for an older kind of music. Yeah, because in because the Reynolds girls were saying I'd rather Jack than Fleetwood Mac and all this kind of thing. And then um, we built the city is kind of criticizing um, certain as maybe radio. I'm not sure yet. The song is for radio. I don't know. It's confusing. And then this song talking about Bebop, Lula, Gene Vincent, all that kind of thing. Um, I will say that lyrically, of the three songs, hands down, in my opinion, uh, Mark Knopfler here is the best lyricist. These are really interesting lyrics. And I think the reason people hate this song is because that organ riff is repeated so often. Um, yeah, it can get, it's kind of an earworm and it can get, get in your craw, but if I had to play this song 10 times or the Starship song 10 times, I know which song I'd be tearing my hair out, and that's the Starship. That would be really painful after a 10th listen. This one would just get stuck in my head, but I wouldn't hate it. So we're going to advance the Starship. I, I, I think it's no contest on this. So we're advancing the Reynolds girls and the Starship. So if you like what I'm doing, hit the like or subscribe button. It really helps. I enjoy your comments, the polite ones. And um, that's it. As we say here in uh, Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. And let me know if you agree or disagree. I enjoy reading your, your comments when they're respectful. So thanks.